been kind of bantering this idea back around out. Hear me out about maybe going to Texas someday. And I've always kind of dreamt of doing hog hunting and different things like that. And you know, I wonder, do we have enough time to do that? Do you think? Well, I don't have anything planned for the next few days. Let's go to Texas. The craziest intersection. Like they took the, all the movements, the gentle curves of a roundabout, but they made it more useless. <laughs> yep, it's kind of strange that they put the, these lanes on the left side of the intersection. Uh -huh. The other lanes on the right side. And there is our Econo Lodge. What is it, biscuits or cornbread? Well, I turned it this way, so we each have one of both. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Packing in the important stuff. Absolutely. Okay, Mark, tell us what's for breakfast. Mm. Well, what you didn't see was all the rest of the stuff that I got to eat earlier, but this right now, I'm finishing it all up with a uh, Waffle House waffle with blueberries and pecans, and it's real good. Here we are, Oklahoma. Speed limit 75. It's taking its toll. <laughs> that ain't the bunkhouse, that's the shop. <laughs> what was I doing? All right. Oh, there there's it is. The that yeah. looks familiar. Oh, there's the bunkhouse. That's All the right. bunkhouse. There's the yep. bunkhouse. Hey, we're there. All right. We have arrived. Serving counter, beds. tell people don't shoot a hog like you shoot a deer a lot of people will just shoot them behind the shoulder but you may miss the vitals if you do that okay but if you if you go up from the leg you know and mm -hmm. stay stay low in the chest yeah you know don't go past center point basically right there yeah you know and, and uh, place it in the lower part of the chest you'll get them okay. Okay, folks, down there is my first ever wild boar that I shot for it. All right, well, so. He was charging you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Coming after you, trying to bite you. Exactly. <laughs> Somehow it was uncanny. He knew, you know, 
I couldn't understand it. I was talking on the phone to somebody real loud, real obnoxiously, and I couldn't understand how they found out where I was. No. Um, <laughs> so within about 20 minutes of setting up, a um, real small one came in actually from the left side. So the, the last bit of scrub on the left side, really right next to that trail that you walked us down to throw the yeah. seed down. There's one that pretty quietly came out through there. Um, just charged right out there in the middle of that path and was sniffing around and very quickly, quicker than when he ran out from the scrub. Must maybe he smelled us or something and he ran right back in and then it was quite a while before anything else came up. So he came in from the left and then uh, a small black one, about the same size as him, came in from the right side. Within about 10 seconds, this guy came, or this one came, and then another well, five, ten seconds after that, another small black one came. And uh, those are the only three I ever saw. But they were real skittish over on the right side behind the scrub there. And you shot it running at 200 yards. Oh, it was, yeah. Might have been 250. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I waited till they actually, I was getting ready to take a shot. And all three just bolted across the feeding area off to the left side. And I thought, well, maybe I won't see them again. It's going to wait longer. And then about 30 seconds later, they come back into the clearing. And then he juts out in the very middle by himself. He turns around and starts to head, to face the direction he just bolted out of. And that's when I got him. So. About 36 or 37 pounds, looks like. Go and go. That's a pretty good big, that's a pretty big one Oh yeah. Okay, well, um, when we first got here, I missed an opportunity, but we waited about, what, 40 minutes later, and three of them came back up, and a different three, I think, because these looked, this one was about the same size as the other. The, other, the first three when we got here were a lot bigger, but um, used the 30-odd six, the Springfield, and this is the one I was going for right here. Hit him, but then... This where you shot it? Yeah. In the neck right there? Yep behind the ear yep got then, him there and then it hit this one and then up. it hit that one um and just you can see what it did man it ripped that baby yeah that soft point 150 grain 30 odd a lot orange to some plants there gotcha. refineries okay texas has the biggest refineries in the united states oh. all right how much almost a hundred pretty good uh it's turning back so i can get the Almost I'd even. say 100 even because it was 99 point something and now it's 101 so they just call it 100 pounds. 